your um, headspace um, from an international point of view is actually pretty uh, experienced when it comes to content, not only consumption, but also the, the, the game of media, right? How have you, um, when you look at the whole play with Amazon coming up the Lord of the Rings thing, Netflix basically buying up everyone to put them on the roster, Apple trying to make a play, everyone's basically creating content. How do you view what is kind of current, what's the state of global media now in terms of the streaming wars? It, firstly, everyone's still trying to figure it out. I mean, that's the God's honest truth. Everyone thinks that this is the new space, and it, and it is, but they're still figuring out. You know, you got um, Comcast, Universal coming out with Peacock, which is an advertising streaming platform. Disney Plus has just launched and put all their content. They've acquired 20th Century Fox. So yeah. They've got a massive catalog. So everyone's just trying their way of doing it. Um, I feel it's cyclical. I feel it's no different to what it was 30, 40 years ago when all the cable companies aggregated all the sports networks and yeah. all the news networks and all the documentary channels and put it onto what you now know as Sky or over in the States, you know, Turner or AT&T, whatever, AT&T yeah. right? So we're going to eventually, in my, if I had a prediction, um, I would say that in the not too distant future, an aggregator, probably someone like Apple or Amazon or one of the big players yeah. is going to come, or a new, new player is going to come in and aggregate everything for you. So you're going to get one subscription that's going to, you know, assign you different channels. You have a Netflix channel, an HBO channel, a Disney channel, all on one service. And then you just consume the media and the content no different to how you used to consume it on the cable networks. So um, I was talking with someone about this exact thing last week and I said, it feels like everything's sort of leveled up, right? If you look, rewind back 20, 30 years ago, whatever, even 10, 15, there's different channels and they consolidated the channel, created a Network, single pack, yep. single network, and you had the cable, and you got your ten channels. Now, you know your kids are going to want the Disney Plus. You know, if you want your live TV, you got the Hulu stuff. If you want your movies, you got the Netflix. If you want the Fight Pass. You know, it's almost like the networks have become the new channels, yep. and there needs to be the next macro aggregator exactly over top of it. So your prediction is someone will do that. Yeah, hundred percent. And it, that will be hurting of the cats, but lay it, those right negotiations are going to be super gnarly because basically what you're going to be saying to the five of them that all thought they would win everything, actually, actually, guys, you haven't. <laughs> so now you're actually, you know... You're, con you're, con content is king at the end of the day, but everybody's interested in the data. Again, it's always a data play, right? Everybody it. wants to know who's watching what, where, when, and how so that they can then put more that type of content into production. Whereas when the market is so fragmented, you don't know. Like you said, if the kids are watching something on the Disney Channel and I'm binging something on Netflix, Netflix doesn't know what the kids like, so they can't program for kids' content. Yep. And similarly, Disney are going to struggle to program for what I'm binging, this you know, crime docu-series, whatever it might be, on Netflix. Yeah. So the smartest play to you know, really provide the consumer value is to aggregate everything together, right? still grow all the individual channels, but the consumer is going to benefit from that consolidation. That's that's at least in my prediction. Yeah. But I, no doubt in my mind that this new wave of streaming giants is beneficial to the consumer. I mean, this whole on-demand thing, it's yeah. amazing. I, I never watch live TV anymore. I don't know barely anyone who does. How stuffed is digital? Yeah. As, as linear, uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you mean... How stuffed the, is linear? Yeah, broadcast. It's... I mean, you've seen what's happened with MediaWorks in recent times. Yeah. There's looking at... Oh, My buddy just sold their building, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a scary world for them. You yeah. Know? And, but the writing's been on the wall for a very long time. Yeah. You had to diversify a very long time ago. If TVNZ wasn't government funded, would they be in the same boat? It's a good question, right? I, but I, you, look at, you look at operators like Sky, and they are. Look, they've been looking for a long time to diversify. And I think that they're trying to do some good things, some exciting yeah. things at least. That's what you got to do. Stay relevant. Keep up with the consumer demand. Figure out where the eyeballs are heading towards. Figure out what advertisers are interested in because at the end of the day, yeah. that's where the money's coming in, right? Yeah. So as long as you can look and see where trends are coming through and then adapt, you're going to be in the market. And that's kind of when you ask me why the hell are we open in cinemas, it's crazy. But we're looking at where consumers, what their demand is, what they're interested in, what they want. And it's that enjoyable experience out. And that's yeah. where we're going well, if we can provide it for them, they'll come.